October 10th, 2000XX. You have been experimenting with multiple human-animal hybrids. Recently, you've been able to bring lo experimental levels up to rats, and you have been semi-successful. However, it seems that there is a problem translating it to humans. Humans don't seem to be able to be mutated the same way animals are. In your hubris, you decided to start working on a new project, far away from any type of civilization, deep underground in a bunker in the forest. You had received ample funding for this, and as such, moral obligations were out the window. Of course, you took the other hybrids with you, and your favorite being a rat-human hybrid. Them being small and tiny, you thought you should take their DNA and try to create something new. Maybe you can amplify yourself. After all, you just ran out of human subjects. But, hmm, it seems you hadn't quite mastered the formula. You had your own subject tied down. However, the thing went awry. The machine, it wasn't pointed in the right direction. And when you hit that lever, you unknowingly hit yourself with thousands of gamma radiation mutating your body. However, instead of developing cancer like you should have, you shrunk smaller and smaller and smaller until you were maybe six inches tall. Not very tall at all, some would say. However, you were in luck. It seems that hybrid you rescued and brought back with you is coming to your rescue. Uh, hey, uh, Master, are you okay? Whoa, you're tiny like me! I heard you scream, so I came running over. Are you okay? Oh, gee. Here, let me help you up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I let you use my tail to pull you up. <laughs> it's helpful being a hybrid. Mm hmm? Oh. You can understand me now? Awesome! <laughs> uh huh? What, what's it like being a hybrid? Oh. Well, originally I was a rat, as you know. With some of your colleagues, you guys um, experimented on me as a rat and turned me into a half-human. Now I'm mostly human with a rat tail and rat ears. Oh, and my teeth. <laughs> um. Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess I do like a lot of cheese. But are you okay, human? Or, wait, can I call you a human still? What even are you now? Are you a hybrid like me, or just small? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Especially because your features haven't developed yet. I guess we'll find out, huh? Uh-huh, maybe we can turn on your machine and turn you back to normal. Uh, let's see. Uh... Hmm... It seems that... It seems that it didn't work. Oh, your machine's out of juice. I'm sorry, man. But... Uh, maybe... Maybe I can help you. Well, I've been living here for a while after you took me in, and I know I ran away from you, but that's because I wanted to make a home in the walls. And now, uh, I live in the walls, and I could take you with me, and you can live in there with me. So, come on. <laughs> He then picked you up with his giant rat tail, bringing you into the walls with him, laughing and smiling as he darted. However, you started to feel nauseous as he ran, it seeming like it was a blur as he ran on all fours. Huh? Uh, are you okay? Uh, oh, oh, you're throwing up. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run that fast. Uh, I, um, sorry about that. <laughs> Um, are you okay? 
Th that's good. <laughs> that's really good. I was worried I hurt you. Um. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, catch your breath for a minute. <laughs> Just catch your breath, okay? Um. Hmm? Oh. What were you researching? I'm curious. Oh, you were trying to figure out how to put the powers of hybrids in humans without the hybrid features? That's weird. I mean, let's see what kind of hybrid you made so far. Or at least your team made. I mean, you didn't really make a whole lot of them. You were more focused on the uh, size change stuff. But, um, let's see, you made a cat-human hybrid, a snake-human hybrid, you guys made a dog-human hybrid, a rat-human hybrid, which is me. Oh, oh, and you made a duck-human hybrid. But I don't like the duck. They're mean. Like, really mean. Oh, a goose. W whatever. Goose-a-deuce, okay? They're just mean. Hm. A anyway. Come on. Just, um, into the walls. Yeah, it's safer in there. The cat hybrid can't eat us. <sighs> the cat hybrid's scary. Anyway, inside the walls. There we go. And this is my home. It's not much, but I've managed to make it somewhat good, and I put a little hole in the wall here so you could look out of it and see if there's any danger coming. Uh, oh, oh, this is my bed. I tried to make it... Um, look like your bed, but it doesn't look quite right because I didn't have all the materials I needed. Oh, this is my food stash. Uh, mostly it's um, sugary foods because they don't break down very fast and it takes a long time for them to, you know, um, go rotten. So I started hoarding that. Oh, oh, and, um, here. What is it? It's a, it's a, it's a thimble. It's, it's a thumbtack. See? You can swing it around like a mini sword. I understand it's a little small, but it's not exactly like we have a large range of options. It's helpful for keeping the cat hybrid from swiping at us. Just stab him in the paw and he tends to run off. He tends to get annoyed. Doesn't like to put effort into things. Um, anyway, let's see about getting you more comfortable, alright? Now, um, sit down. Yeah, like right here. And yeah. There we go. Now we'll sit down and hang out together. Hmm? Oh, my name? I suppose I never told you that, huh? Well, I guess I couldn't. All that came out was squeaks. <laughs> um, my name is... <laughs> it, it's Brandon. At least that's what you guys called me. I don't know. I was originally number five, but uh, you called me Brandon, so I kind of went with it. <laughs> it's kind of funny how you gave us all of us hybrids names, even though you didn't have to because we were assigned numbers and you could have just called us by our numbers. Hmm. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's a interesting question. I've never been asked that before. What can I lift with my tail? Well, I suppose I can lift pretty much anything with it, as long as it's not too heavy. I think I can lift, like, up to, like, 10 pounds with it. That doesn't seem like a lot to you, maybe, but that's, like, four times the size of me. So I think that's pretty substantial. Look, see, see that TV remote? Watch. Ta-da! I could pick it up. Or how about this? Yeah, I can pick up this roll of toilet paper. You see, I am a strong rat. Hmm, the strongest rat around. Which I mean, I guess isn't saying much because I'm the only rat around, but you get the point. Uh, oh, um, here. This is my cheese. <laughs> yes, it's true. Rats like cheese. You can make all the jokes you want. I don't care. Cheddar is my life, okay? 
Never doubt the cheddar, okay? You don't you don't understand how useful cheddar is, how amazing cheddar is, and just like the sheer quality of cheddar. And he proceeds to go on for about ten hours about how good cheddar is. Eventually you pass out hearing him talk about it. However, when you awake, he appears to be sleeping on top of your chest. A rather precarious situation. What? 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 Ow! 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 Why are you pulling on my ears? Ow! Why did you do that? You pulled on my mouse ears. Hmm. What? Why am I sleeping on top of you? I was tired and we're warm and why not? I'd let you sleep on top of me. So why not you let me sleep on top of you? <sighs> Whatever, just come on, please let me have your warmth. <sighs> Fine. I'll I won't use your body for warmth. Meanie. But whatever. I suppose that I should set up my own bed. Can you help me at least? Thank you. Um, here. Grab this. It's, um, yeah, it's like styrofoam, yeah. And then we're gonna set that down here. And then, yeah, okay, here. Tuck that into the corner. No, 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 bend it that way. Bend it that way or it'll get wedged. Okay, like that. Alright, and then help me find some softening stuff. Like, sheet stuff. Hey, you remember that old shirt that's laying on the floor? Do you mind if I rip a piece off of it or a bit off of it to make for my bed? Uh, thank you. Okay, then... Mm, uh, mm, come on. Ah, th there we go. Th perfect. <laughs> now I can go put that over here. Perfect. <laughs> ah. Sorry that I kind of ruined your shirt. <laughs> but hey, at least now I have a bed that's not made out of food. <laughs> anyway, mo moving on. Um, n next here on the agenda, pillows. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use for pillows. Um, oh, I know. How about this? What do you think? Do you think a marshmallow would be a good pillow? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now set that in here and boom. There we go. Right under my head. Perfect. Now let's work on this like that. Oh, and work on this like that. Puff this one up like this. Yeah, yeah, like like uh, hit it like with your hand, like like you're puffing up. Um, yeah, you know, like slap it, like yeah, like this. Yeah, slap the pillow marshmallow thing, and set that down. Okay, okay. Now a blanket. I got a sheet. I got a marshmallow. Now I need a blanket. Hmm. Uh, oh, here we go. This will work great. It's one of those old handkerchief things. Oh, a, a bandana. But still, it works great as a blanket. Now, I'm gonna use this thing and swap that over like that. There we go. Now, uh, um, do you mind sharing a bed? It's kind of hard to make one bed, let alone two. Uh, thanks. Now, get in. <laughs> there you go. Here, I'll use my rat tail to wrap around your legs and um, your uh, chest a little bit. Maybe that'll help you feel more comfy. Like this. How's that? <laughs> I'm glad. Ah, perfect. Mmm, so warm. I love hugging your chest. <laughs> Good night, and maybe tomorrow? We can go hunt for some cheddar cheese, because mmm, cheese, yummy cheese. <laughs> Good night.